Hello crafters! This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I'm here with a Halloween card share for my creative time. This is a 5 by 7 card with a whole Halloween scene, sentiment trick or treat, cute little fairy turned into a cute little witch and her house and then the starry skies in the background. Crafters, I have so much product in here. <laughs> I shopped my my creative time stash i have two layers of black foam in here to pop up my scene where you're looking through the cracked aperture at the layers going on the night sky the haunted house the little lantern fairy her little cat is up here in the foreground and then this awesome pattern paper let's now look at everything that i use to make this card for the background Starry background embossing folder. This is a six by six embossing folder. This is an all year round one. The last video, which I will link here, I used the Boo embossing folder. And again, I used the Lunar Paste in something silver. I'll put the name here on the screen for you so you can see it. But that silver Lunar Paste just really bumps up the detail. And you can use your finger to just rub it on. That's what I did here and here. Isn't that so fun? I think it's perfect for Halloween crafting, and this one is perfect for all year round crafting. So I have that in the background here. To cut out my little aperture, which is one layer, two layers, I'm using a combination of two dies. Torn paper frame dies and the coordinating torn paper frame die layers. For this top layer here with the pattern paper, you're seeing the largest die here, which measures five and a quarter by four inches. And then right underneath it, that second layer is this. That's why right here is so close together. Inside out, you're seeing this inside part of the stitch detail here. Isn't that fun? So you could just do just this layer alone, these two together. They both play very well together. This is fun when you go between one and the other. Then for this layer, I came into this one and that's where you're seeing the stitch detail there. On the bottom, that's just black cardstock with the embossing folder, okay? So it's three layers deep. Actually four if you count this one on top of that. This is just glued on top of that, it's not popped up. But I love this torn paper frame, especially for Halloween crafting. Fabulous, just absolutely fabulous. One more thing crafters, you're seeing three layers of black cardstock being cut. I have them all here. So this would piece like so. I'm keeping my scrap. This one is the top. So what I did, because this pattern paper is not super thick, I did tape this onto this and then ran it through the die cut machine one time. So I also have this too. I can use this for something else. Isn't that fun? This little layer here is this one with the stitch detail. You see the inside out? There. You see it? Isn't that fun? <laughs> so these are all great scraps and they can layer up just like so. For another card love that okay moving on and then for my spooky house love this little die this is the haunted house tag die these two pieces give you the detail behind here if you don't want to piece it back in i did piece it back in so i cut this again the silver you're seeing all around here is silver metallic pigment ink this house measures four and a half inch tall by two and three quarters of an inch wide. So fun. And it does come with a shadow. I did not use the shadow. I just used the house detail alone, which also has a great stitch detail. So if you don't want to have to piece this back in, just put these behind here in any color you wish. Then for my little fairy girl, I so love the fairy. I'm using a combination of three die sets here for her. For this fairy body, what you're seeing is the fairy stamp and die set. This was the original when it first came out. She faces straight forward. And this is her hair. I'm using something else for that hair. But these are her boots, which is in red matte foil. So is the little detail on her hat. Her dress is in red. <laughs> I actually wanted to put green here, but because she's wearing red, I thought, you know what? It's going to look like Christmas instead of looking like Halloween. So I came in with this orange weird color that I have in my stash. It's like a golden pumpkin color and that's what I put for her hair just to add a little fun. But I could have also used some of the sentiments here. I'm using this piece up here for the bangs 
That's from fairy number two. There's also fairy number three. Did not use that one. But for the detail now, down here I use the fairy Halloween add-on dies. The lantern with the piece that goes behind it in the yellow. The hat and the detail for the hat. I could have also brought in the broom, but I did bring on the cat. So I could have put the broom too if I wish, but I thought that would have been too much. I used three out of the four sets here. Now let's take a little quick trip down memory lane while I have my little fairy out because she's fun. You're seeing her here now, but in previous videos, I will link the last release video here. So you can take a look at the fairy two and three done a different way and everything else in that release, as a matter of fact. This was in the previous video. So here I have the green hair and I wanted to use it here, but then I thought it's gonna look like Christmas. Notice I have the house again. This time I did use the outline for it. There it is in black. This time I didn't. So you can see the difference, but there's a little cat. So fun. Love it. This is a little daisy die. So it is over here. So these two cards are Halloween. And here is the same embossing folder here on gray cardstock. Look how it looks completely different. And it's also here in purple. <laughs> You see the detail? It becomes very subtle on light cardstock like it is here. But this is like all year round, happy birthday. These two are Halloween. And then these are the other two fairies. So super cute. So fun. And I still kept the little leaf detail. This was the first time I made hers. I think is adorable too. So fun. So pretty. Same person right here. Different outfit. So Barbie's changing. <laughs> Or Tinkerbell, right? She's a little fairy. And no wings. She doesn't need to have wings and all of that. So fun, though. So that's Fairy Stamp and Die. The stamp is in the first set. That's number one. Then there's Fairy 2, Fairy 3, and Fairy Halloween add-on. Now for this fabulous sentiment, I'm using the Trick or Treat dies. This is an older set. I bought it so long ago. One of the reasons I bought it right here. I love this trick-or-treat sentiment with the shadow behind it and the boo and the bats and the spider. <laughs> I haven't used this ghost yet, but the ghost is kind of fun too. This ghost matches this style of dye very, very well too. It has that same angular look like this. So fun, but this was the real reason I bought it. And here, love a good bat. That's a good bat. Love a good spider. Was thinking about putting it in here, but I thought it would have been too many things going on. Seeing that I have all the layers and here is tight where everything is really happening. Let me give you a measurement on trick or treat. Two inches wide by one and a half. She's roughly two and three quarters of an inch tall by one and five eighths of an inch. Emma has videos for all three witches putting them together, but she's very easy to put together. And then I discovered I could mix, match and play. I'm loving the black and the red and then those red disco boots. Oh, this is just all fun. <laughs> so this is the trick or treat dies for the sentiment. And lastly, for the pattern paper crafters, what you see on the top here, I am using the Halloween 2024 paper pad, six inches by eight and a half inch tall. So fabulous. I'm using this sheet right here. Here's a piece of it. So the front here is a second sheet of this. And then the house is this little section because there's the back. Love, love, love. In this paper pack, you are getting 24 sheets total for each of six designs. If you want to see the other paper pad, the Halloween brights is in that video that I linked from the last release. So fun. And if you want to get 10% off site-wide, use the code Suzanne if you want to shop any of these goodies. They're just all fun. And this is a vintage goodie. I so love this set. I was happy when I first bought it. I'm still happy now. <laughs> So thanks for watching my little Halloween card. It's all fun. Look at her. Adorable. And I love the little lantern too. So there's some little touches of foil in here. Matte silver foil, matte red foil. I don't know what this is, like a different foil from my stash. It's like shiny, but not shiny. This is shiny foil. That's shiny silver foil. I'm having lots of fun for Halloween. And I think this card just makes me so smile because she's just adorable. But then in this whole spooky setting. Okay, crafters, everything will be detailed and linked below. Thanks so much for watching. Until the next video. Stay crafty, my friends. Bye.